सो हे गाइड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइड टूडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट एनर्जी ड्रिंक मोशन ग्राफिक एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ओनली आफ्टर इफेक्ट सी गाइज दैट्स माई रियली कूल एनिमेशन राइट दैट्स रियली सिंपल एंड गाइज नाउ यू कैन डाउनलोड ऑल प्रोजेक्ट फाइल फ्रॉम माई वेबसाइट So firstly guys click on here new composition check and composition name like a main com and guys duration 10 second is perfect so press okay yeah and next one guys go to on project here and right click import and import file select this one and import so guys simple drag and drop on main com like this right and guys i change this time scale size so press s letter so scale size little bit change like a 60 yeah and right click guys rename like a can yes right okay so next one guys i create pre composition and guys name like a can so move all attribute check and press okay and fit 200% check here yes okay so guys next one i create auto trace so go to on here layer and this my auto trace and see guys that's my some option same setting so go to on here and apply yes perfect see guys that's my auto trace right okay so next one guys i apply sabo effect so go to on here effect and i apply sabo yes and see guys that's my custom co so go to on here and layer mask check yes perfect and now guys i change preset preset i like arc reactor like this yes and guys now i create animation so go to on here firstly guys mask evolution check and zero frame so go to guys like a 10 10 second and mask evolution minus 10 yes that's it right it's simple okay so guys this not animate so go to on here so guys that's my start offset here and start offset check so guys start offset i like 100% 100 on zero frame and now go to on last here last and start offset i like zero yes that's it and now go to on back first frame and guys end size i like zero yes and now play yeah so guys that's my simple sabo effect right and guys i create this time flicker effect so go to on here flicker and intensity i like a randomly like a 65 and speed i take 25 enter and mask randomize check and again preview yeah so guys that's my really cool sabo effect like a lighting okay so now Next one, guys. I create duplicate. So stop. Select the scan 3D model. So press Control D and shift layer like a 0.15, 0.15 and color change. So color I like this time orange. So color code is H24 and 100 100. And guys, play. Yeah. Okay. So now next one, guys. Select this one, and this my render setting. I create transparent, so transparent check, and select this one, and same transparent check, and yes, see guys, that's my transparent effect. Okay, so guys, next one, I create one more layer, so press Shift D, so press Control D, yes, and guys, go to on here like this, and guys. Uh, go to on here. Yes, and guys, shift layer. This my third, and go to on here. Yes, perfect. Yes, and now guys, I change color. Color, I take this time red color. Yes, see guys, that's my different different style of arc vector effect. Yeah, see guys, that's my like a energy drink effect. 
right it's really cool okay so guys stop and now go to on here see that that's my project and select your can model and duplicate so same control d and can 2 so simple drag and drop on main com this my can 2 and guys i create opacity animation so guys select this can 2 and press t and opacity check on 4 second right and go to like a 3 second and opacity i like 0 yes that's it so guys select your keys and press f9 and one more time yeah see guys that's my first energy effect and second one that's my drink right okay so guys this step is complete and now guys select your all layer and right click this my pre-composition and guys take a name name change like a can sabo so move all attributes i can press okay yeah okay so guys next one i apply this then text effect so guys select text and type anything like a fruit punch yeah okay so guys now firstly i create outline so go to on here see that's my character and i create outline yes and outline color guys i take this time red is good and guys center pivot go to on mid so select and center pivot so shortcut command is press ctrl alt and press home button yes and duplicate so press ctrl d and apply on right side so shift layer like this yes and guys now i change text yeah see guys that's my text right and same select your text and center pivot in mid yeah perfect okay so guys now next one this my outline text and guys little bit down select your text and little bit yeah guys i create only changing position yeah perfect okay so now next one guys select your text and duplicate so press ctrl d yes and go to on down see guys that's my text too so guys i create fill so select and go to on here and change like this and change color so guys color i like white color white yes and second one change color this my swap fill and i take white yes perfect so guys now next one i create flicker effect so for flicker so go to on here and see that's my text and animate and go to on here opacity yeah and see guys that's my range sector i like zero this my opacity and go to on here range and start i like 45 yeah and and i like zero yes and go to on here this my advance and go to on here randomize order i like on and random seed guys i create animation so holding alt key and random seed check and type time star 100 enter yes see guys that's my flicker effect right it's really cool guys i apply same effect on second text so go to on here and go to on animate and opacity and guys opacity is zero and range guys see that's my start 45 and end i like zero yes perfect advance and random this my random order i like on and go to on first zero frame and holding alt key and random seed check and type time star 100 enter yes yes perfect see that's my flicker effect it's my second work second effect so again go to back and play yeah see that's my really cool animation right it's looking really good okay so guys stop and now guys select your text layer all text layer and right click pre-composition and pre-composition name like a simple text and press ok yeah that's it okay so guys next one select this time both 
layer and right click one more time pre-com and take a like a animation right and press ok yes ok so guys my this step is complete and now next one guys I create amazing flow so guys for flow I have texture and guys see that's my flow texture this one is good guys you can download all assets from my website free and next one go to on here this is my create new composition check and composition name like a flow and press ok yes so guys select this texture and simple drag and drop and guys click on here and create 3d check yes and guys i create rotation so rotation check and x rotation i like 90 and go to down yeah great and now guys i create this time motion tile effect so go to an effect and presets here and type motion tile select this motion tile and apply to one texture like this yes and go to on here output breadth i like 200 and guys like a this one output height i like 250 yes and guys click on here mirror at check yes so guys now next one i create little bit darkness so type level so select this level and apply to on same texture and see that's my gamma i like 0.4 i create darkness yeah perfect right okay so now go to on here main com and project see that's my flow and simple drag and drop yes and but guys not the uh, correct so guys select this animation layer and press ctrl d duplicate and guys rename like a uh, animation shadow yeah see guys that's my shadow layer and go to on here switch layer and create 3d check yes and same guys press r rotation and rotation guys this time 95 yes and go to down like this yeah little bit more yeah perfect and go to on here see guys that's my percentage fit 200 percent check yes see guys that's my simple composition and next one guys go to on here and right click guys i take this time adjustment layer and adjustment layer should be on mid this one this one first layer animation second adjustment layer and third one is this my animation shadow layer and fourth is flow so flow you can hide so select this adjustment layer and guys i apply this time compound blur and see that's my compound blur so apply to one adjustment and blur i like this time flow check yes that's it see that's my simple flow right okay so guys see that's my blurness uh i change like a hundred yes perfect nice little bit more is dependent on your work yes perfect i take 125 this my maximum blurness and now guys next one i create bump effect so guys i apply this time cc glass select this cc glass and apply to on same adjustment layer and cc glass so bump map i like flow and guys softness i like zero yes see guys that's my really cool effect this my like a road right okay so now go to on here fit 200 percent check and go to on light so guys little bit increase this my shadow light like a 150 yes good okay so guys all is good my work is perfect and now guys go to back and play yeah see guys that's my like a energy doing commercial ads right it's looking really beautiful okay so guys next one stop so guys i create also this time shadow effect shadow this one can shadow so guys simple select this one and ellipse tool so guys select this one ellipse tool and create shadow so like this 
yeah little bit bigger yes perfect and guys now select this shape layer go to down and press p and little bit change position on center yes perfect okay so guys now next one i apply blur effect so type gaussian blur select this one this is my gaussian blur and apply to on shape layer and blurness i like only 5 and 10 it's depending on your work i like 10 yes perfect right see guys that's my really simple shadow effect okay so guys same i create this time position actually opacity animation so go to like a four second and shape layer press t this is my opacity opacity check so go to like a three second three and opacity i like zero yes so guys select your keys and press f9 yeah perfect and one more time guys go to on preview yes really good okay so guys my work is perfect and now next one guys i apply this time some particles for realistic effect so go to on here project okay so guys go to on project and right click guys i create new folder like a particle yes and guys now i have some particles so import import file so select and apply import yes and guys i apply this particle effect on top yes and now guys i change mode so mode i like add yes and guys select this one this my like a fog smoke effect and guys this one this my smoke and i change opacity opacity i change like a 30 yes perfect right see guys, that's my really cool smoke and guys little bit more 35 and now guys next one this my spark effect and little bit change position yes and press p position little bit up and go to on here yes perfect right okay see guys that's my final work final and fit 200 percent check this one and guys i show you my final work so play okay so guys that said my work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download all project 5 from my website free thank you